our patient population as they're aging uh, uh, with the older type of insulin, the implants are replaced in the 80s, 90s. Uh, we do notice uh, advanced periodontal disease around these implant implants. And uh, one option would be is the maintenance that becomes difficult because we have the deeper pockets around the, uh, these, these implants. And over time, with a prolonged uh, periodontal disease over these implants, they end up uh, failing. Uh, and needing to be extracted. Nowadays that uh, we have this option and, and with the true um, uh, data that can show that regeneration is possible uh, with the with the LAPIP approach, uh, I think this would be our first method of a choice whenever a patient has a, a perimplantitis. So the benefit of uh, uh, the LAPIP treatment is one that we're basically trying to preserve and, and save the restoration that the patient had for over uh, over the, the past uh, uh, few years, the, the, an old restoration. Uh, usually the progression of periodontal disease around an implant is, of course, over time. Uh, so one the benefit would be trying to preserve what we have, uh, the restoration the patient has. Uh, another important factor is that basically we are not cutting the environment, cutting the gums, we're not uh, having to suture. So it's a very conservative approach. Uh, it doesn't hurt to give it a try, 